Hola amigos, this is Josh. I'm back again with another video. Today I'm talking about caustic and tips and tricks. I'm going to go over 29, yes, 29 tips and tricks on how to use caustic. If you're already using them or haven't already, these tips are going to help your gameplay immensely. I've gone to being a non-user of a caustic to now I think I'm a master using them. Uh, so I'll go over gameplay and show you guys some tips. Uh, but if you guys haven't done so, please uh, subscribe, like, comment below. And now, let's get some, some tips and tricks, and let's rock with the caustic. Let's get it. Okay, guys, so let's talk about caustic and tip number one. Uh, let's understand his abilities. So he has three. His passive is his ability to see through the gas. The second... Uh, ability is his tactical which is gas traps which you can have a total of six but his intervals are three so you'll get three and they'll reload up and then once you get another three obviously you'll have a total of six just know that when you place the next one let's say the seventh one the first one will disappear which gives you a total of six just so you guys know and then the last one is his ultimate which is his gas grenade it's pretty much um, a grenade that spits out the gas and it slows down your enemies uh, disorients them. It makes it very easy for you to get the kill uh, because they're pretty much lost in the gas uh, and taking damage. But with all these abilities, th there's a reason why players don't like to use them. Uh, they think because he's too thick, he's too hard to manage. Um, they just don't find them useful. But with these tips that I'm going to give you throughout this video, you're going to see why he's a really great player to use, whether it's public or ranked matches. So let it roll. Let's watch the videos and let's see what kind of tips you guys can learn. So tip number two is one of the easiest tips to master, especially with caustic. Um, if you guys are Watson users or have used her before, you know that these two characters know how to take control of a space, especially if it's a building. So in this scene, you're going to see how I'm approaching a building. I'm going to lock it down with his gas traps. Uh, I don't do it initially, but you know that I'm approaching a building. One of the things you always want to do with caustic is to make sure you set those boundaries between you and the enemies. So here you see that one of my teammates is pinging that there's an enemy. Obviously it's a building. This is a super play for caustic to control the environment that he's going to go into. So always make sure when you're going into buildings, lock those doors, lock those areas. So tip number three is a connection of tip number two. Uh, like I mentioned, you have a total of six traps but your intervals are of three so when you're entering a building whether you have one two or three start placing those traps to kind of protect the area that you're in that way you solidify that building and then you also protect your teammates so just be aware of the traps you have available to kind of lock it all down here you see me place the gas traps by an entryway by a hallway this is my strategy in terms of locking down the building we know that if there's a user that comes into the room they're going to get hit with the gas, which disorients them, slows them down, and makes it very hard for them to shoot us. That's what you want to do with caustic. At every time when you're in a building, if you have them available, those traps, make sure you place them to either block the doors, by the door, or in hallways to make it very hard for the opponent to reach you guys. That's the whole goal. So tip number four is a tip that's very hard to master, but once you guys get the logist of it and know how to do it, it'll become easy over time. The goal here is to throw a trap before you start shooting. The reason why you want to do this is because you want to create a barrier between you and the opponent, kind of keeping them in a corner while you can flank them, go up front, or you can push them. The reason why you do this is because you want to create a shield to not allow them to push you, but you do it to them. So you see me approaching the building. I'm going to throw a trap before I go into action. The reason why I'm doing that is to create that space. Now you see the enemy on the other side because they're scared to push us. That's the whole game here. You wanna create that barrier and you wanna kinda of like disorient them or throw them off like, oh crap, what do I do next? So tip number five is making sure you control pathways. As you do with buildings, you make sure you do that in open spaces. I don't care if you're like, hey Josh, but it's super open, it does not matter. If you set a trap in a position of line sight, that's going to affect the enemy on trying to approach you and push you, as you will see in this video. My whole approach with Caustic is to make sure I block your pathway. 
whether it's open space or it's in the building. Here, you see me throw a pancake. I'm doing that just to kind of throw off an enemy if they approach us. Remember, you want to block their line of sight, their pathway, whether if it's an open space or close, I kid you not, I've seen it happen so many times where people actually pass through my gas trap even though it's in an open space. So just make sure you control the situation whether it's open or narrow. So tip number six is a very basic one, but it's one that I like to use all the time. The reason why is because it serves a twofer. One being when you throw a trap at an enemy box, it protects you when there's an enemy approaching you from let's say they're flanking you blindside. It serves as a protection. The second part is that if there's an enemy trying to get their teammates, you know, box so they can revive them, well, they're going to have to set the trap off in order to do that, which will notify me and my teammates that they got hurt and they're nearby. But if the opponent does not already know, they can shoot the bottom, let the gas trap collapse, and then they can get to the box easily. But most of the time, they don't do that. But just know it serves two ways. One as a protection. The other one to kind of throw off enemies before they get to the box to revive their teammates. So here I'm setting a trap off because I'm trying to protect myself to loot this box. But at the same time, if they come back for this box, they're going to set the trap off, which will notify me and my teammates that they're nearby. They got hurt. And now we go back into action. Um, like I mentioned, if they shoot the bottom of the trap, yes, it does collapse. It does disappear. But most of the time, a lot of users don't really do that. They like to just to go right into the action. But that's why I do it to protect me and my teammates when we're looting, but I also use it as a as a way to kind of serve some damage when enemies come back to get their teammates um, banner. So tip number seven, the whole purpose here is to always be aware that you have a total of six traps. When you're inside a building or outside, which in this situation we're outside, I am trying to set the traps in the line of sight, pathways, hallways, wherever it may be that we will get foot traffic from enemies. I'm trying to put a stop at those areas to protect me and my team so we kind of have that protection uh, it doesn't always need to be the case that when you're in a building in closed corridors to throw the traps you can also put them outside just make sure you put them in areas where there's a walking line or a line set or a pathway uh, that will kind of like hinder the enemy to kind of push through so here i'm throwing another gas trap in the pathway right there now it helps me to kind of loot more boxes, serve as a protection to allow me and my teammates to do what we need to get suited up, uh, looted up, so we can go out and take out some enemies, which we'll soon encounter. With Caustic, you want to be well aware of your abilities. As you can see, I have my ultimate, I have my tactical, I have two gas traps, now three. Just be well aware when you're going out in the open what you have available to take action. Tip number nine is you guys locking down a building as soon as you guys enter a building that's completely new or no one inside make sure you guys lock it down with caustic and his traps as you guys will see in this video like i mentioned as soon as you're in the building lock it down with the traps set the traps by the door don't block the door unless you need to like if you're resin up uh, but place it by the door so it sets off by an elevator by areas that you know there's a lot of foot traffic the whole goal here is for you to have it in spots where the user is not aware of it that it's there. So it helps you and your team kind of slow them down to take them out, which you guys will see soon in another video. But again, all I'm doing here is securing the space so we're safe and sound and we know we have control of the situation. Okay, so tip number 10 is now implementing everything that we've learned from one to 10 and how it works here with an actual setting of enemies. As you guys will see in this video, my traps that have been set will set off because there's enemy movement, but also it will disorient them as well as to like, do I go this area I can't because I'm blocked? Do I go up the stairs? Because I'm starting to block every nook and cranny of this building, which you guys will see. So here you see me uh, catch an enemy walk through the bottom building, which they're going to set some traps off, which I have traps at the bottom floor, but I'm also protecting the top deck because I know the traffic up here. What I'm trying to do is control the situation like I mentioned before. But I do see Wraith coming in, which does get disoriented because they don't know where to go. Uh, but I do take out. Tip number 11 is a very easy one. When an enemy is down, throw a trap. Sometimes we don't have time to shoot them because there could be another teammate of theirs trying to snipe us, flank us in some way. So usually you want to take the whole squad out so they're completely wiped. 
But what I do here is I place a trap to deal some damage and not allow them to move anywhere else. And it gets me focused on taking out the other enemy opponent. Here I place the trap, set it off with a down enemy. Now I'm focused on the other guy. Tip number 12 is knowing how to use the ultimate when you need it the most. In this situation, I use the gas grenade to create that fog barrier effect between us and the opponent for us to either shield up or control the situation. It works wonders in buildings and outside environments, but you'll see here in this video. Here I have the gas grenade ready. I'm trying to create a fog effect between the enemy that's up top to protect us. With tip number 13 is adding more salt to the wound. So we know there's an enemy that is down. I'm not even focusing on that guy. So what I do is I throw another trap, which eventually kills them. What am I doing here? I'm dealing with more damage, taking them out, and not allowing them to move anywhere else so that their teammate can revive them. The whole game here is to just annoy the player, take them out, uh, and use your abilities when needed. Here, I place a trap. They're dealing damage. They get knocked out. We got a kill. Tip number 14 is knowing that your gas traps will be set off, especially when you lock down a building with enemies inside. Now it's game. Now it's time for you to take out those enemies and control the situation even further by placing more gas traps. We've now taken down that wraith with that one gas trap. I'm looking to see where the other enemies are. My teammates are signaling that there's some outside. I'm just trying to kind of look through the situation and see if I can find anyone else. I do find a caustic that drops down right now. Tip number 15 is caustic versus caustic. This identifies who's the better caustic overall, hands down. Uh, the one cool thing about this is that the gas abilities do not affect either caustic. So you guys are pretty much numb to everything. Now it's just hand-to-hand -hand combat and who can take them out with your shooting abilities. Um, I will say that the gas does disorient the player, send the traps to slow them down uh, or create that fog effect, but it doesn't hurt either caustic. Now it's just down to the fundamentals. How can we win this matchup one-on-one? -on -one? Here you'll see me dealing damage to my twin. He throws a trap thinking I'm going to get hurt. I don't. Obviously a newbie. And then I do take some damage as I show up. Tip number 16 is understanding the fundamentals and blocking entry points. I do know I have a caustic that deals no damage, but I'm trying to shield up, protect myself and my teammates before I go back out and try to win the situation. I'm obviously taking damage from the caustic. I throw the trap down to create that barrier, fundamentals, between me and the enemies as I try to shield up. It does allow my teammate to go in there and find some action, but I'm lucky enough to find that caustic and take him down. Just like that, take him down. Tip number 17, know your environment from the back of your hand. If you're in a building outside situation, understand how to get to the top, how to maneuver, where to go, um, and also read the player. In this situation, you will see a wraith shooting me from the top floor, but I know in order to get up there faster, I take the rope up and I block them from coming out from the top, which you will see, it does no good for them. Here, you saw that I won against Caustic. I'm the better player, obviously. I see wraith up top, I go up the rope, I throw the trap so they can't escape. They'll take damage if they do. And they go up the stairs. Easy kill. So you see, we pushed him. And he thought he was pushing us. With Caustic or even a Watson, you want to make sure you understand the building you're in. How to get to the top floor the fastest way to win the situation. Um, again, just make sure you know your abilities are available. Make sure you have enough traps to do this. Uh, but with time, you'll get good with Caustic, I promise. Uh, but just make sure to always lock down the situation and corner those enemies so you guys can win every situation that you guys encounter. Tip number 18 is an easy one. As you guys leave a building that you guys were just in and going into a new one, make sure you guys lock it down with some traps and place them in areas where you know there's a lot of traffic, whether it's a rope area, doorway, pathway, just make sure you use your um, tactical abilities to create that barrier. So obviously we're leaving the building that we did a lot of work in and we're trying to move. Obviously the ring is going to close. The whole game here is now let's go to another building to loot uh, and find some new weapons, ammo, shields, whatever it may be. But always make sure to use your traps when entering new areas. That way you guys can set those off if there's enemies or it also creates a deterrent if someone does want to come in and think twice before going after you guys. So tip number 19, 
again, is the fundamentals of everything I've gone over of Caustic, and that is to protect the area that you're in to help you and your teammates uh, have time to loot and you guys don't get flanked by an enemy squad that comes from the blind side. Again, I'm doing this to place them because I have them, but also give us time to look around, find more new loot that we need, any um, add-ons, uh, shields, med kits. Uh, it's buying us time as this ring starts to close even more, but also helps us get set up for our next encounter, which we do face off pretty soon. Tip 20 is throwing a pancake before you go into action. The reason why you do this is to create that barrier, which you guys will see that it plays critical in this part of the video and further encounters because I'm creating that space between me and the enemies. Here, I throw the pancake to create that barrier so they don't push. And then I do get some damage by a bloodhound and an octane. Uh, but you will see that I do something else to protect me. Tip 21 is throwing another trap during this encounter between the Bloodhound and the Octane to create that space. I'm not allowing them to push against me. It's buying me time to shield up because obviously I got damage dealt. But you will see also as I continue to push, I'm looking at the map as how the ring is closing. So I'm placing more traps because of the enemies on the other side of the mountain. They can't really rush us because I've already placed the traps unless they're savvy to shoot the bottom or go through it in some manner, but I highly doubt it in this situation with very critical that you place the traps as you continue to move in areas you know there will be player movement. Here I throw the trap to create that space as I shield up on my low shield. Obviously I took a lot of damage. I'm trying to protect myself to go back into action with the enemies uh, as my teammates are, but also I'm going to place more traps to kind of create the deterrent as this ring closes. So if we're unlucky to take this squad down, I'm creating a barrier. But we do eventually take out this pathy, and there is another character still alive. So 10 over 22, I'm continuing to place traps. I'm trying to protect me and my team. I do know there's two more teammates on the other side of the mountain, which my teammates do a really good job, in addition with myself, to take them out. But again, you can never be too safe to protect you and your team. That's why I always place the traps uh, if I have them available. Uh, again, you know, we're looting. We're trying to find everything that we need to win this game. Uh, we've been on a good stretch. Now we're going to approach a situation where it gets very hectic. And this is where everything in combined that I've mentioned in this video works all together. Uh, from all the tips uh, that I mentioned um, till now, this is the end game. Uh, can we win this matchup? Uh, obviously, there's two squads left. So what we're trying to do is go into the building because I know that's where the ring was going to close. Um, so I'd rather be safe than sorry and approach that building first, lock it down. So as the ring closes, we could maybe win this match. Um, but again, you want to you want to make sure you understand the ring patterns, uh, where it might close. You obviously can't predict it, but I had a good feeling that it was going to close in that building so we needed to get there as soon as possible to lock it down and see what we can do so tip number 23 again locking down the building we know this is the end game it's us versus another team and the winner becomes a champion so my goal here again is to lock down every entry point through the building so we are well protected here we're obviously approaching the building my whole game here is to throw them traps to create blockage to create deterrence to pretty much solidify this area that we have i'm obviously placing the traps by the doors I don't really need to block them um, but in this scenario my teammates are up top i'm at the bottom doing my job to protect this area uh, just in case they tried to come in at the bottom tip number 24 is making sure you know where the enemies are obviously we get pinged we know where they're at now the game here is to keep an eye on them to see where their movement proceeds and for us to take care of the area that we're in. Here, our teammate pings that area so we know they're over there. So tip number 25, what I'm trying to do here is kind of push the enemies off with my gas grenade. Um, it does create the effect where my teammates can't see through. That's the only downside about his gas grenade. It affects your teammates. What I'm trying to do is just keep them closed in that area so we can just keep them there 
while they're open, but they do eventually move uh, through the backside. But again, with our communication and pinging, we do identify their positioning to still have the upper hand. So again, we're just trying to um, keep them in that corner and not allow them to rush um, our area. So with tip number 26, what you're trying to do here is be well aware of your tactical, which we have a total of three. Remember, you can only play six in total, no more than that. I'm trying to solidify the area at the bottom of this building so that the enemies cannot push in. Uh, the whole point is for me to protect the area while my teammates up top are pretty much shooting and sniping uh, from the roof. Uh, but just always be well aware of what you have available, how many of these um, gas traps you have placed. Tip number 27, what I'm trying to do here is now block the back door so they can't push in. That one I'm doing it purposely, but I do see an uh, enemy approaching my way. So as you can see, I have my traps already placed to protect me against them. So with tip number 28, I'm going one-on-one -on -one with a Mirage. I'm placing the traps to make it very difficult for him to push into my area as he obviously uses his ultimate to throw me off, but I'm able to find him as you can see right there and my trap goes off. Now I'm trying to protect myself from him to coming in and now I go out through the door, leave it open so I can have an easy access to go back in because if I had it closed, then I won't be able to go back in and I'll get killed. Here, I almost take out the octane. In this situation, Mirage almost beats me, but I beat him. And now I go back into the door that I didn't close. Now I lock it to make it difficult for them to come in as I res up. Yes, I do have a teammate right now um, resing up on their own and a teammate trying to come in. Obviously, they break the door um, to walk in, but you can see how difficult it was for him to come in. And now I'm going to res up my teammate as well as I have time to do this. So with tip number 29, our last tip, what I'm going to do here is protect my teammates when they come into the room by placing the gas traps. So I place a gas trap, I'm walking in, I throw my ultimate to create that fog effect and also make it very hard for the octane to try to come in. This allows us to get some time to shield up and you know use our med kits to be ready to go back outside to go against the octane, which pretty much gives us the upper hand as you guys can see. So it's a very cool tactic to use. This is where you use all the fundamentals to make sure you can win uh, during this end game situation. Now we have cornered the Octane. Eventually he loses this three on one. But again, with all these fundamentals, all these elements, along with having some good teammates, you end up winning the match. And now you've gotten a little bit better on how to play with Cossack. So um, like I mentioned before guys, you know, there's a lot of tips. Most of these are like redundant, uh, but you're seeing throughout each situation, you want to control the environment and you want to make sure that you have full control. And especially by you having those traps, you know, placing them where they need to be uh, through pathways, doorways, open areas. Um, it's going to eventually help you uh, when you place them correctly. And it takes some practice. Uh, but again, guys, um, this wraps up my video. Uh, like I mentioned at the beginning, please subscribe, comment below what you guys think about this video. And like I always do, I'll continue to create more content, more value, and I appreciate you guys' time. Until the next one, later guys.